Here we need, this is Crosspiece production. I just wanted to do a quick example of how to uh, remove the Waves plugins if the license has expired and you've just demoed the plugin, for example, and you want to uh, just get rid of that particular plugin so it doesn't give you these kind of things uh, when you're loading up your DAW of choice. Uh, so it's quick and easy to do. So basically, you'd, obviously you'd hit skip all if you're gonna go into the actual license or skip past it. Um, it might ask you things like this. So um, other plugins kind of have the same kind of theory, but I'll just go through it with uh, the waves for this tutorial and I'll cover off maybe another one if somebody needs that as a, an assistance. So anyway, look, you can see there's a couple of them coming up here now. It's kind of annoying to get all that sort of stuff, uh, Kilo Hearts and all that, all that jazz. So uh, basically what you do is you go into applications. Um, I'll just take you through it step by step so you can kind of see how it all works and I'll expand this window just a little bit. Uh, basically you scroll down all the way down to the bottom. So usually this should be sorted alphabetically so you can see all your applications in this area. So it'd be in your normal hard drive wherever you store your applications on your Mac. And uh, for Windows, I'm not too sure how this would work. It's probably something similar, but uh, you just have to find this thing here. So as I mentioned, all the way down to the bottom. So you'll see here, if we just bring this all the way up here, scroll down, that's a Waves uh, little symbol there. So you've got your Wave Central, which is where you'd normally install your plugins and uh, uninstall, uh, well, you can't really uninstall from there, but install licenses and the plugins, etc. To uninstall a section of a plugin. So if you don't want to uninstall the whole thing, um, you can actually go in there and you've got your versions. So it starts with the application data. So version 11, um, that shows there. You've got this other little tab, which is just data. So that'll have impulse responses, etc. cetera. Uh, then you've got version uh, nine, for example. This is a, the older version, which I still use some of the plugins that I have not up updated yet, uh, but all of those would be in there. Uh, so you can, if you know, if you've got some in version nine, you want to get rid of this is the way you would do it. Um, but if you've got it in the most recent version, which is version 11, um, you'll find here. So I had this plugin tell me that the license wasn't there. I don't need this plugin here on my system. So the simplest thing to do is just go to command, your key command, hit delete, and then it deletes that plugin out of the folder there. And the next time you scan, that'll be gone from that point forward. So I won't ask you for that license um, any further. Uh, again, if you need to reinstall it, you just go into your Wave Central and then do the process as you would normally do with all the activation stuff like that. But this is pretty much the, the quickest way to, from what, what I found anyway, to get rid of that plugin if you don't need it on the system. Um, for example, there are other plugins that sit in the application window as well. Uh, so maybe just scroll through that, have a look and see if there's anything that you don't need in there that you don't want. Um, that's the way to get rid of it there. The other way though, just quickly to get rid of plugins, if it's not to do with Waves, but just in general, is to go into the library section. Uh, you can see here down at this part here, it's so audio, so you go to audio and then plugins and all of your VSTs, uh, the component section of them as well. So that's the Apple uh, plugins. All of that will be in this folder here. So if you wanna scroll through VST or VST3 uh, component and you know anything else that you have there, uh, you can get rid of it from there and pretty much delete that particular plugin if you don't want to keep it in there as well. So just a little handy tip on the end there. Otherwise, hopefully this is helpful. If it is, subscribe to the channel. Uh, this kind of content is the kind of stuff you'll see here a lot. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.